The second solution to the holiness problem has to do with priests. You see, being directly in God's presence is really dangerous. So he appoints priests as special representatives who can go into his presence on behalf of others. So in this section, we have a story about how the priests are ordained into the priesthood. And then this other section explains the set of higher standards that the priests have to live by because they work so closely to God's presence. The third solution in the book is all about purity laws. And this is by far the hardest thing to understand. For example, in this section, we're really concerned with knowing whether you're clean or unclean. Or another way of saying that is being pure and impure. Here's what we need to know to understand this. When you're in a pure state, you can be near God's presence. When you're in an impure state, you can't. And so it was really important for Israelites to know what state they're in at any given moment. So the first thing we have is a list of pure and impure animals. Yeah, this list of animals is divided up by where they live. So on the land, in the sea, in the air. And the text is just not clear about why certain animals are impure or why touching or eating them makes you impure. What is clear, however, is that avoiding these creatures will set Israel apart and it will remind them that God's own holiness should affect every part of their lives, including what they eat. After the food laws, we get a lot of random rules uh, about things like skin disease, touching dead bodies, what to do with bodily fluids. But they're not random. All of these are things that the Israelites associated with life and death, which are sacred things because God is the author of life. Okay, but simply coming into contact with these things makes you impure? They do, but we have to keep in mind that it's not wrong or sinful to be ritually impure. You just wait a few days, take a bath, offer sacrifice, and you're pure again. What is inappropriate is entering into God's presence when you're in an impure state. Now, there's more purity laws over here in this section. Yeah, these focus on Israel's moral behavior. So these are laws about social justice, healthy relationships, having sexual integrity. Living by these laws will make Israel into a morally pure people who can live near God's presence. Those are the three solutions.